today, the nanny has a really important assignment for Mimi and her friends. The kids have to make clay figurines, whatever they want. I don't even know what that is. So, how's it going? The kids can't focus on the nanny right now. They're busy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <coughs> Miss Moo, are you okay? Thanks, Mimi. I'm fine. How are you guys? What did you make? So pretty. Everybody wants to show Ms. Moo how amazing their figurine turned out. Eddie, what did you make? You're going to love it. Hmm, it's beautiful. Um, what is it? A swamp monster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a swamp monster, of course, obviously. We finished playing with modeling clay, so now we can kick it up a notch. We're going to do pottery. Huh? I'll tell you all about it. Have a seat. Pottery is one of the oldest human inventions. It's the process of creating ceramic items out of clay, like dishes, toys, jewelry. The nanny explained pottery in great detail. And the kids got started right away. How about making your own dishes? Whatever you like. I'll make a plate. I'll make a cup. Me too. Cool. I'll make a fork and a spoon. I like the idea of a plate. I'll make mine super colorful. Wow, can I paint mine too? Sure, we can make matching ones. Awesome. I want to make another swamp monster. But you're supposed to make dishes. Fine. I'll make a plate shaped as a swamp monster. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And they're off to the races. They're all focusing hard on what they're doing. Maybe a little too hard. Good job. But how are we supposed to eat out of these? They're too soft. You're not actually done yet. Now we need to put your creations in a special oven. We'll turn the temperature up very high and leave the dishes in there for a while. You can have them back tomorrow morning. Yay! The kids did everything Ms. Moo said. Let's see how it turned out. Wow! This is yours, and this is yours, and this is Mimi's. Here are Theo and Dee Dee's cups, and Eddie's swamp monster. Oh, finally! That was another great day. Now the kids can bring their dishes home to show their parents. Ha! Look what I drew! It's beautiful. You're so talented. I wonder if Mimi will grow up to be an artist. I'm sure she will. What do you think, Mimi? Me? An artist? Wow. Cool. cool. 
is a piece by a local artist. <laughs> sure, it's not perfect, but she did her best. I like drawing, but no. What else do you like? Helping my friends. Then maybe you should be a preschool teacher. Mimi is a teacher. That's right, Theo. Let's get started. We're learning about numbers today. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Teacher doesn't know her numbers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know enough to teach anyone else. Then what do you want to do? I'd rather work with cars instead of people. Interesting. In what way? I think I know. You mean being a mechanic, right? A mechanic? <laughs> Hand me the adjustable wrench. Mr. Raccoon, I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh. Do you know how to jumpstart a car? Watch me starting it. <laughs> I don't have any talents. Sure you do. What is it? You have a great imagination. Maybe you'll be an author? Or a filmmaker. Yeah! I'm so creative! <laughs> Tag, you're it. Mimi, I need your help. Let's pick out all the things we don't need anymore, and then we'll have a yard sale. Mm. It'd be great to have a yard sale. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Seven, 
Eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Thank you. to only sell old things you don't need anymore. <gasps> Mimi, do you already know what you're going to bring out for the yard sale? Hmm, I think I'd rather see what you're selling first. the shapes we learned today. Circle. Square. Triangle. Well done. That's all for today. <laughs> yeah. Now we know what a circle looks like. And a square. And also this one. What is it? A triangle. Right, a triangle. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have an idea. Oh. Let's buy groceries, each of us according to our shape. Huh? Uh. Mimi will choose round products. Dee Dee will choose square oh, ones. Yeah. And Theo will choose triangular ones yeah. to remember. Wow. Yay. Oh. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Woohoo. <laughs> Woo <-hoo. laughs> huh? Theo? I haven't seen him. Me neither. I didn't buy anything. It's okay, Theo. We'll come up with something. In the meantime, let's see what Mimi has. Round orange, round apple, round kiwi, and round tomato. Well done, Mimi. <laughs> uh, what about Dee Dee? Butter is square. And 
the cheese is square. Well done. <laughs> uh, you did great too, Theo. You just had the most difficult task. Don't be sad, Theo. Now, let's pay for the groceries and go home. We'll make pizza out of the ingredients you bought in the same shapes as them. What's wrong? I don't have any triangular ingredients. Huh? Yeah! They're hmm. triangular. <laughs> Sometimes you can make what you need out of other shapes. Thank you, friends. <laughs> yeah! Um, yum, yum. Brown pizza is the most delicious. Ah, um, um, no, square pizza is the most delicious. <laughs> the most delicious is the triangular pizza. It has both round and square toppings on the triangle. <laughs> huh. Mimi, just a reminder that today's our anniversary with Mom and we're going to a restaurant for dinner. But why go to a restaurant when we can make a restaurant dinner at home with my friends? <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening. I was just about to ask for some drinks, and they're already here. We have the best restaurant in this house. Here's the menu. May I recommend our signature salad? Huh? <laughs> uh -huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and our signature steak? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And something delicious for dessert. Two salads, two steaks, oh. and two desserts. Uh. But I don't know how to cook. Aha! Uh -huh. Corn Dad, it seems I have an idea. Huh? The kids invited us to their imaginary restaurant. Maybe now we can invite them to a real one? Uh huh. Yay, we're going to a restaurant! on 
on the chair. I'm sorry. Good table manners. Okay, Mom. Okay, okay Mrs. Unicorn. Unicorn. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Mimi and her mom are going shopping. Do you like that toy? I love it. Will you get it for me? For your birthday. But I want it now. It's so expensive. We came here to buy groceries, you know. That's a great idea. Where will you get the money? I'll earn it. Very interesting. How will you do that? I'll come up with something. Okay. Mrs. Unicorn was very impressed by Mimi's idea. So she decided to help her out. What are you up to? Just thinking of ways to make some money. And how's that going? I haven't come up with anything yet. That's okay. I have an idea. Yay! There are a lot of fruits and berries around us. No, there aren't. <laughs> Not here, silly. Outside. Oh, right! <laughs> what if you pick some? We can use them to make juice and then you can sell it. Yay! That's a great idea! I love you, Mom! Love you too, sweetie. Can I invite Theo and Didi? Of course. Mimi is so happy. The kids can't wait to start picking fruits. The kids filled up their baskets with fruit and carried them back to Mimi's place. I think we got too much fruit. Yeah, I like this. I have a feeling we're gonna sell out right away. I hope so. I'm already sleepy. Here's the first customer. Oh, yeah. But I have some juice. Of course, that'll be 75 cents. Mrs. Sheep gives her a dollar. Keep the change. This is delicious. Thank you. Wow. Word about Mimi's delicious juice spread all around town. Everyone wants to try it. Phew! We worked hard! Yeah, I'd do it again. Same here! The next day, Mimi and her mom headed to the store to buy the toy. Mimi really wanted to buy that toy, but she remembered that she couldn't have raised this money without the help of her friends. So she decided to buy three toys instead, one for everyone. Mimi gave Theo and Didi their toys right away. Friendship is more important than anything. The friends are having a great time at Didi's house. He has so many toys. They're seeing who can build a taller tower. Dee Dee's is taller. Huh. No, but mine is. <gasps> oh no! Yay! I win! Oh. My tower is taller. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mimi, Theo, quit laughing. 
Let's go to bed. It's late. Okay. <sighs> Dee Dee, good thing we're sleeping over. Yeah, we gotta clean up first. Why? We're gonna play again tomorrow. Nothing is gonna happen to our toys. Oh, that's what you think. Whoa, what's Mimi imagining this time? Whoa, this whole city is made of blocks. What a tall tower. Mimi, Theo, look, that house looks like mine. <laughs> yeah, it does. Mimi, that one looks like yours. No, mine's way prettier. What's happening? It's shaking. The blocks are falling. It's an earthquake! Mimi, Theo, Dee Dee, get out of here! Oh no! Look out! So much laundry! Theo, Dee Dee, hold on! Ah! Uh, ah. Ah. Uh. Theo, where's Mimi? Mimi! Get out of here! Let's go! Ah! I can't move! Help! Grandma! Phew! Grandma Sore, we nearly drowned! Of course, just look at this mess! You need to clean up. Okay, Grandma. <gasps> they don't want to be cleaned up. Maybe they like being on the floor? No, that's not right. Everything just has its own place. Stuffed animals go in the baskets. They'll stay clean there. Blocks go in a box with a lid so they don't get lost. Clothes get hung up in the closet. That way they won't get wrinkled or dusty. And scarves and mittens go in the drawers, so they'll be easy to find. That's how you keep your room tidy. And we don't step on any more toys. Now we'll know where everything is. You should always take care of your things. Now, give me a hug. <laughs> uh. <laughs> the kids had a great time cleaning up. Now, they can relax. Tomorrow's going to be another busy day of having fun. <laughs> <laughs>